You have his tail? Reach yeah. between his legs and tickle his belly. No, I can't. Why? He's in there. Yeah, you take your hand under his belly and tickle his belly. Your other hand under his back legs. Don't let go. Okay, guys, Cody did not wait for me to come over here, but we've had a four-wheeler seat that looked like this forever. I mean, it didn't look that bad forever, but it looked bad. And we finally got a new seat. Mainly because Clancy broke something else on it, and we we needed to order it, so yeah. we ordered both of them while we were doing it. We've so. got a new seat for the Ranger. Why don't you show them what your, your daughter's... Oh, yeah. Lovely dog is done Let me to show that. You what, show you what the dog did. My dog didn't do it. This is what Nala, the weenie dog, did to the ranger seat. $600 ranger seat. It wasn't quite that much. I mean, we found them on, but, on a cheaper website. Oh yeah. But, but it, there was a tiny hole there to begin with. And I really think that she just, the only reason she did it was because of that. Cody doesn't want to put the new seat on because yeah. he thinks she's going to tear it up. But I think she really did it because there was already a little hole there to begin with. So She will be up for adoption if she does tear the new seat up. <laughs> Anyways, real. we're trying to get our four-wheeler and ranger back to mint condition. Mint condition. All right, let's go stake the barn. Come okay, on. let's go. Look, Nala's over here harassing this puppy. Okay. Look at her. No, she's just being friends with it. No, she's harassing it. It huh. was jumping. She's being friends with it. Good job, Nala. It's all over here by itself, so she's keeping it company, being its little second mama. He likes to be over here by himself because he don't have to fight with his brothers and sisters. <laughs> huh, little one? They're walking good now. Well, I, don't I mean, know not, that I would say that. not good, but they're starting to walk. <laughs> no, nobody's inviting y'all to go nowhere. Y'all can run. We're just going little ways. All right. Let's okay. Go. So... Probably by the time you see this, we will have already gone to Empire Farm Days in New York yep. and made it home. But while we're gone, the folks that I've got hired to come in and do the dirt work here and add on to the barn will probably have already come and gone and been finished by the time we get this put up and get back from New York. So, so we're probably not going to get to film all that, but you'll get to see the end result. <laughs> maybe if the kids are here, they can get some footage of it or something. Uh, while it's going on but no guarantees but what we're going to do right quick is we're going to kind of the dirt guys that are going to come and, and build this up with some base and then some good creek gravel so it's not dusty and it'll have a hard compaction um we're going to kind of mark off where it's going to be that way if they get here while we're gone they know kind of where the barn's going to be the guys that lay out finish putting up the barn the roof they'll, they'll set the post in the exact right spot but we're just going to kind of give everybody an idea where it's supposed to be look at this right here golly you found one. Dinosaur shell right there. It's not a that? dinosaur shell, Cody. That's a ram's horn, Erica. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let me see. Oh, it is. So, we're going to use a little Pythagorean steering to figure out how far we got to be from that corner to this corner so we can kind of square it up. So, simple trick. So, we're going to be 46 feet this direction and 36 feet out. So we need to figure our angle. I'm going to let y'all in on a little trick. If you take your calculator on your iPhone and you turn it sideways, bam, you get way more functions. Most of y'all probably didn't know that. So I didn't know that. 46 squared. Where's the squared button at? I don't know, but it's hot. I'm coming over here to the shade why wall. Need, you, why are you already dying? I'm just coming to the shade wall. Plus you know. 36 squared equals that. And then we want the square root is 58 and a half feet, basically. Remember that. 58 and a half feet. 58 and a half feet. All right, so. Which side do you want me to be? This one? Where do you want me to go? I want you to go past the barn right there. I'm going to mess with our math up. 10 plus 30 is what? 40. You got to hold it tight now. No, I ain't. We ain't, we ain't even got started and you're already tired of doing this. Hold, hold what you got. How many of y'all enjoy working with your wife and your children? Cody, I'm baking in the sun over here. I and there's really a snake enjoy hole. With my wife and children. Cody. What, Erica? You have me standing on a snake hole. What? You have me standing on a snake hole. 
I can't hear a word she's saying. Maybe y'all can. I don't know. Something about a snake or something. I don't know. Ain't no snake over there. There's a snake hole right here. Huh? Quit whining. Fly, you better go on. I'm going to spray paint you. Now, if any of you knew my father, this is where he would say, if it ain't one thing, it's ten others and some vulgarities in there, but I'm going to try not to act like that. See if I can get this thing to run like it ought to. Nope. No. No cigar. Erica, she done retired to the shade. That's ridiculous. You can't have nothing nice anymore. Can't have nothing nice anymore. Yeah. Alright. Go down to the ground. We're not building this from the top there. Alright, come over here. That is not... Oh, what you got? You got it? Oh, what you got? Pull it tight. Leave it right there. If everything works like it's supposed to, which it will, this is what we're going to cover. We're going to come out 30 more feet from the end of our barn that's currently 36 by 36. There'll be a post there, a post right here, and a post where everywhere there's one of these pieces of rebar, there'll be a post. There won't be any other posts under here. But this will be built up with, with base and creek gravel or river gravel to the same level as the concrete in the barn. It'll be built up and then it'll taper off just on the edges. All right, guys. We talked about this on our TikTok, um, but we got this feed bin and it was just a big silver box. And we thought it would be fun to dress it up with some stickers. Cody, are you hot? Yes, I feel like I done lost about 12 pounds in here <laughs> in this old sweatshop. So we thought, we, we thought we'd dress it up with some stickers. So this feed bin is from Metro Gates. So we got the Metro Gates sticker on there. Um, of course, we got a Bar 7 sticker. We got our Texas Farm Bureau. We got Almond Girl Jenny. She's our favorite almond farmer, even though she's in California. She says almond, but we know that's not right. We already talked about that. Erica thinks so. Got another Bar 7. Got a Stormy Cromer. We love Stormy. And then, of course, right when you walk in, boom. Cody's don't, best don't friend. Don't forget our favorite sunglasses. Oh, did I forget one? Okay. And our epic. Cody said he put that on there crooked on purpose, but I don't believe him. Because they're out, but they don't do things by the line. They they think outside the box. That's why I put them on there a little okay, crooked because okay. they're they're trendsetters, not okay. trend followers. Anyways, I'm gonna put our PO box down there so that y'all can see it. And if y'all want to send us a sticker from your state or from your business or brand, we can stick it on our feed bin as long as it's user friendly. Yeah, and there's there's only one condition. Yeah. If you send us a sticker, it's got to be family friendly. Yep. Meaning because our kids come in here. I mean, this is Clancy's feed bin. We say it's ours, but it's it's his. I mean, it, when you open it up here, it's got three storage bins. He's got his, his Angor goat feed in one. we got some extra feed bunks and stuff in others. But he'll have his beef trade in here for when he gets his commercial steers on feed here in the next couple of weeks. So um, as long as it's friendly, guys, we'll stick it on here. We don't want anything that's not, you know, that we don't want our kids seeing and we don't want your kids seeing. So, But if you got something clean and cool, send it to us. And we think it'll be you know, fun. Like, we'll show lots of videos in here, and you might see your sticker and some don't, videos. Don't send us any, you know, if you're a tequila maker, don't send me a tequila sticker because <laughs> we, we don't drink. I don't care if you want to drink. That's fine, but, but mm. we're not. I don't want to put that on my kids' yeah. deal. So if you got a cool business, you know, a record service or something, send it to us. We'll stick it on here and give you a shout-out. Or if you're from a different state or yeah. our state, just send us a Or you got something from your sticker. ranch, send us a sticker, and we'll throw it in here, and uh, we'll just support each other, guys. Yep. All right. Thank y'all. See you later. I don't know how well those things are going to stick. Were you hot in there? Yeah, honey. It's hot in there, okay? I'm overweight. I'm middle-aged. I'm overweight. And 
probably out of shape. I don't know, not really. I mean, I drink two or three bottles of Chuck Norris water every day, so I'm like a <laughs> 112th degree black belt, but it's hot in there. I mean, even when you walk out here in this 104 degree breeze, it makes it feel cool from coming out of the saddle oh, shop. Everybody out here is just laying around like... Some oh, lazy, lefty, he just wanting some scratching. Lazy bones. Lefty's wanting some scratching. He just wants to chew on you. He just, yeah, he just wants something to bite on, chew on. Oh, oh, belly goat. I think we need to call the other, um, Poncho. Billy Poncho. I've yeah. been calling him Poncho. For oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Except I don't know which one's which. Which one's which? Can we tell? Well, the Billy is well, the I know, one I can't with see the big right now. He's hanging down, huh? I, obviously, but which one is it? Can you tell from right here? No. Okay, then. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be the I one on the I want to figure out how to identify from the front because you can't always see from the back. I think it's the one on the left. Okay. Well, hi, Poncho. We need to name the nannies now. Y'all tell us what we should name our nannies because we've got Poncho and Lefty as our billies, so we need a name for our nannies. we got two nannies. Um, let's see. Can I, I can tell the folks at home how to, how to always be able to tell between male and females and farm animals, the old two-finger test. What is, what, look at your dog. What are you doing, Pepper? You let her get an empty dog food can out of there. She's licking the bottom of it out. The old two-finger test. What's the two-finger test? So if you got them, if you got them in a chute or, and you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, from the rear end, you stick two fingers. That's if, disgusting. If the bottom one bends, it's that's a boy. Disgusting. If they both go in, it's a girl. Cody, that is not family friendly. Well, that, that's, that's agriculture, Erica. Okay. Pepper, quit before you cut your tongue. This, the kids need to clean this barn up. This is a disaster. I agree. It's the hay that's the disaster, and it's getting worse because y'all took those dills down because the dogs are jumping all the way up there now. It's getting worse because your dogs are. Okay, well you need terrible. to put something around the hay. Okay, well. Okay, I'll we, turn let's it off fix the... it right now. We got a panel right there. We can all right, fix let's that do right it. up. Let's just get this remedied real quick. Let's move this out of the way. Why does it sit here anyways? It don't. It's, it, it's, it's just, a trash bucket. Okay. All right. Can it get on the side somewhere where it's just not Sh out in sure. the middle of the thing? But let's move this panel first so okay. we don't put it right in front of where we're going. I'm just moving it all the way. You just put that in the middle of where we're going. Just no, so you know. I didn't. I don't think you understand what we're doing. I'm going to lock you up in there. Are you? Mm-hmm. I kind of find that very, very doubtful. You need me to find some wire? Oh, no, they hook together. They hook together. Now i got to pull it this way, though. All right. That's good enough to keep the dogs from getting in there, making a mess. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Good enough for the girls I date. We need to get this hay feeder out of here. We're not going to feed a round bale in the middle of the... Clance needs to come out here while we're gone, scoop this up and put it in his ranger and go feed his goats, his sheep. That'll be a good project while we're gone. Good project, guys. That's some of that good work for children to do. Erica, we're both on the microphone. I mean, you're making big old... Oh, sorry. Ruckus in there. Sorry. I think I'm gonna shove all that trash in here and then shove this on the truck. Then we don't have to strap it all down. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Get old Miranda and Lambert's hair over there. And haul it off. Oh, here's a box. Oh, Clarence's scooter. Sure, I'll put that in there, no problem. Perfect. And then this right here. Gonna take this refrigerator? Mm. Oh, that's hilarious. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's alpaca hair or it was my alpaca own mustache hair. in my mouth. Oh my gosh. Hey, do you want to take this refrigerator? Um, yeah, but I'm not going to try to stick that in here. We'll, I know, we'll I'm just put asking. it on the truck, yeah. That was funny. Mike, they want to get rid of them now. Just because of that. That's the only reason? Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. What are y'all doing? Nothing. Checking out how we're going to redo the steer pin the best way. Do you think that we need to pin the dogs up? What dogs? The puppies. No, why? Because there's going to be people driving up here. They're not coming until Friday, so. That's only two days away. Yeah, I don't think you need to pin your puppies up. But don't you think we'll need to start pinning them up with the lambs and stuff? Yeah, but we don't have any lambs up here to pin them up with, so. Cody, you're being difficult. No, you are. You just broke that. Are you going to put your new seat on? Not till I know so I can keep an eye on it and make sure Nala ain't going to tear it up. Okay. All right, I, I brought you. Lambs. I want to come. We'll get in. I brought you some supper. Okay. It's getting cold right now. Well, let's go eat supper. I didn't know you are bringing it. No, we can go look at lambs. I'll come with you. Can I? Yeah, yeah if you'll get in so we can go. Why do you have an attitude? Because I'm, yeah, I need your help. You have his tail? Reach yeah. between his legs and tickle his belly. No, I can't. Why? He's in there. Yeah, you take your hand under his belly and tickle his belly. I can't. Your other hand under his back legs. Don't let go. You gotta pull him out. I can't. Reach are you, your arm down are you, there. You reach your hand down there. I can't. Grab it and pull it. What are you gonna do when you pull his tail off? Uh, I'll keep the tail in. Is he fighting you? He's got a grip in there, Mama. You don't even know. And <laughs> it's completely against. How did he get? Is he like dug down in a hole in there? Yeah, there's a. He's like in a tunnel. He got it, there's a barrel here, and he's in the barrel. He's like at the bottom. Of it. Don't let him bite you. His head's in it. I don't think armadillos have teeth. You need to get him out there. Dad, come on. There he goes. Look at him. Look how much dirt he's made. He's Why are you jumping? Guys, I thought he was going to jump out at me. Clance. He ain't got nowhere to go. You can't get him out? No, I... You're a Freddy cat. You try. Dad I ain't trying. Try. He can't get out. He's down in there good now. He's got his... Oh, come on. He's man. got like his front legs dug in. I don't think you're gonna get this one, bub. Chased him all the way over here. Well, get him. Go around there and get him. Try one more time. Go around where? Right get there. Him? Try one more time. You ain't gonna pull him out from up top like that. You're scared. You ain't doing nothing with that. Tail. Gangster rain you got over there. Can't even get his tail up. You gotta hold, hold reach down further. Look, yeah. Can't get now. My fingers under it, barely. <laughs> you try it. Look, now he's moved up a little bit. Reach him from this side. So you gotta be ready for when he does that. When you grab him, he quits doing that. Yeah, mom. Here, my turn. You try. No, I'm not putting my hand in there. You try it, though. One more time. Come on. Oh, he's coming out. Do he it. ain't coming out. He's digging farther in. <laughs> we gotta have a... We have to have a... We have to have an ending to the video, bub. You're not getting him out of there. Come on, let's go. If only we had a little shovel. You need a shovel? Why? You just dig it where you go deeper. No, I just dig right here. Oh, that's a good... The whole barrel is probably under the ground, Goober. Try one more time. Have. Try one more time. Oh, he yeah. ain't coming out. And I'll let you give up if you try one more time. The people of YouTube want to see you get this armadillo out of this hole. I'll see y'all at the house. Bubby gets as far away as he can from the armadillo. 
You jumped when it threw dirt up. <laughs> it's not working. I'm trying to give y'all a pup date, but Izzy's over here breathing loud. But the puppies are eating little soft dog food. I got them some dog food and kind of put some water in there. Just water it down and they're chowing down. This one's over here just. And I think I, I think they're liking the dog food. This is their first time. Sheba ate half of one of the bowls, so. They help with juggling, Mom. No. Are they help? Are they juggling issues? No. They help with like back problems, knee problems, and all that because when you wear like with all those insoles and stuff in them, mm -hmm. you stomp down a lot harder so that you feel your feet like hitting the ground kind of. Yeah. But like with those shoes, since they're like, they're just meant for you to kind of go, kind of feels like you're going barefoot. It helps so that you don't walk like this or like this. You walk right and you feel a lot better. Something like that. I watched your video on it. You have to see. Perfect. What are y'all doing today? We're going to get corn for Clancy's commercial steers. In this here trailer? Hmm? In this here trailer? Just move it over. Oh, I stepped in stinging that on the way out here. Sorry about that, man. What else y'all have to do today? Oh, you have a flat tire. Did you know that? I do know that. Just make it. have to go get the metal for the post. Stuff to do the rebuild the commercial steer pin. Do you have, to have a different trailer for that? Yep. So you're all going to come home and load it? So we'll come home, unhook this trailer, and then hook up the big flatbed. It's not big, but bigger. That one over yonder. And go back to town and get the stuff we need there. So is that why you unloaded all your dry cleaning stuff off of it yesterday? Yes. That's why I had to get all the new pressures off. Mm. Feeding the puppies this morning. Come here, puppies. Look, puppies. Look, your food's here. Come here. Look. Your food's here. Come here, puppies. Your food's here. Come here. Look. Food's here. You don't have to stay out here. Just tell them. Got a hole in it or just a leak? Mm, just a slow leak.
That up there is all the dry cleaning equipment stacked up in there. That's what he had to bring home yesterday because they brought it on an 18-wheeler to the cleaners yesterday without telling us and he wasn't ready for it because he didn't know it was coming. So we got to store it until they get it all plumbed and ready for it. Where you at? Can you see a long ways? Uh-huh. But there's a lot of trees. I can see far that way. Yeah. Pretty good sized bend for Central Texas. We're gonna auger out of that bend and into our corn trailer right there. And then uh from there we'll go back over you can see right here the little ramp that goes up onto the scales and we'll get a get a loaded weight on oh, where on this trailer is it busted no it don't work Babe. Yes, dear. So what is all this for? So this is going to be the rebuild of the commercial steer pin. So we've got line post and top and bottom rail for part of where we're going to put. We'll put a top and bottom rail with this channel in there and then those pieces of reclaimed, what do you call those, telephone poles telephone will go in there and that'll make a wind block. These bigger pieces of four and a half inch pipe. We're going to be cut down and that's going to make our corner post so everything will tie in good and pretty and nice and look good. Don't rub up against that. You'll get rust all over you. So this will be hopefully up by Sunday afternoon and be yeah. ready for steers. Hopefully they're starting tomorrow. And yeah, they're going to be here tomorrow. I have faith in my, my, my building <laughs> guy, my, my barn builder. Because we weigh in on Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. We have commercial steer weigh in Tuesday afternoon, so. So then we need them in the steer pen. On we Tuesday. need them in the steer pen by Monday. Yeah. By Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. Yep. So, which should be no problem. We're ready. Y'all keep ranching.